Hey YouTubers and welcome back to another episode here on ESGN Net of MLB 17 the show road to the show with Ryu Atami and this is episode 21 yes uh, we are back here on MLB 17 the show of course MLB 18 the show is well going to be out or should be out by the time this video comes out and uh, we'll of course move him over to that game but first, we want to kind of wrap up this season here as we got a couple, about about, about about two months, I guess we could say, left of the season. Of course, we can zip through it real quick here. As you take a look there, San Diego Padres, 23 and a half games out of first place. And of course, Ryu is your uh, now, well, he's starting to step up to a more better role here as a closer here. As he's been playing a little bit of uh, reliever, now he's coming in the closer role here. And we'll see him take on Josh Bell here in the ninth inning. The bottom of the ninth here, they're up by four in this game. So it's not going to be a save opportunity here. But it's going to be an opportunity for him to get some work in here and to see what exactly he can do here in today's game. So there you take a look at the team statistics there. And, of course, the uh, Padres right now not in any position right now. Take a look at their batting and, of course, their pitching uh, to be uh, playoff contenders here. But hopefully next season will be a different story, as we'll see Ryu. Uh, you see 33 games he's been in so far here. He has a 2-0 record. He has nine saves for the season. And there you see his ERA just under a uh, buck there as he has 35 and 30 innings of work, 34 strikeouts for the season. So we'll see Josh Bell here 0 for 1, and we'll see what Bell can do on this pitch right here as so we'll see him get this one right there a hot shot there to shortstop and an easy play and an easy out there as one is taken away so we'll see what he'll be able to do now uh, coming against uh, freddie glavis here as we'll see a 2-2 count and the pitch here with one out oh there you see a strike out there on freddie and Freddie is going to argue this one, but you know what? Ryu's like, I don't even want to listen to it. You're out, dude. So we'll see here. He's just, uh, Freddie's just shaking his head, thinking like, okay, what was the deal? What, what, that was a bad call. So now Bronk Bryant coming up the bat here over three. And, of course, the Pirates would like to try to get back in this ball game here. But it looks like their chances of, of that coming up here is going to be, well, it could be still alive now as Bryant gets on board there. With a base hit, and that puts him at first base. As Starling Marte, uh oh, is coming up the bat here. And we'll see what Marte can do here as a pitch hitter. Of course, he has a dangerous bat. And of course, the Tommy's probably been told that here. As he has a 1 2 count here, one on. This one goes up and deep. This is going to go back. This is going to go over to the left field wall. And that is a two run home run as a Tommy. Gives up two runs here, and now it puts a 7-5 to five ball game. The Pirates are back in this one here as they are now just down by two, and they can easily come back with this one with another two-run blast here. Now the question is, is Atami going to be given a hook here, or will he get out of this uh, inning here as we'll see a strike three there, and Atami does so there so he gets out of this one here gets out of the jam and only gives up two runs here in that one after that blast there from starling Marte gives up two runs and it's a seven to five ball game as uh, shields will get the victory there nice job there as big game James there gets keeps his win there and we'll see what the pirates can do here uh, coming up maybe another game here I believe they have one more game in this series now and we'll see what they can do tomorrow night so big win there as we're able to get out of this one no we don't get a save or anything like that but we do uh, probably get a good talking to there to the coach about not giving up big hits like that especially against guys like Sterling Marte who could really do some damage to you uh, if need be so uh, take a look at your notables there, and we'll take a look at reuse Ryu, uh, numbers there. And there you see some training points there he is going to get. Of course, one inning of work, gave up two hits, two runs, both were earned, and two strikeouts. His ERA now over one at 1.24. So Ryu gets that, and he will move on now here, hopefully, 
Yeah, that he can shake that off here and get ready for this next game coming up as we go to game number two of this series with the Reds. And there you see he's going to come in in the bottom of the ninth once again here with nobody out. And, of course, the first uh, batter here he's going to have to face. And with a one-run lead now, so not too much there on the bone there for him to do too much with here. He's going to have to be laser-like focus here and try to do some damage now and get these uh, three batters out quickly. As we'll see Morocco come out the back. And we'll see if they get this shutout here tonight against these Reds. So, 0 2 count here on the batter. And we'll see here this one's going to be drilled to right field as the first baseman cannot get a hold of that one. And that's going to put a runner on board here. So, not what Ryu wants to do here coming off the, out of the bullpen here. As Rodriguez now will come in as a pitch runner now for the Reds. As Jay B Bruce, big Jay Bruce coming up the bat here. One for three. He's singled already here in this game here, and we'll see what he can do here with the big at-bat now with one on, nobody on, or one on with nobody out, I should say, and we'll see here. This is going to be a ground ball. That one, the second baseman can't get to, and what the hell was that glitch right there? For whatever reason, the first baseman just somehow glided over there to first. I don't know if you guys seen that, but it was funny when I, when I was recording this. I'm like, what the hell was that all about? So we end up giving up a hit there, so we, that means we have a blown save here. And now we're just going to try to see if we can keep the game where it's at. And hopefully the other team, hopefully our teammates can pick us up here in the top half of the 10th. As you see there, they get the uh, ball there over to first. And the runner from first will go to second there. So they move the runner over. And with now two out, now we got Hudson up to bat there. As you see, 0 for 3. And we'll see what it can do here. Try to get to keep this game where it's at. So 0 2 count, one out. And we'll see there. That is a strikeout there on Hudson. As he is now, nah, yeah, he is fired up about that call. He does not like that at all. He better might watch what he says there. He might get thrown out. As we go to the next batter here. And 0 1 count. This is going to go out to right or left center field there. And a shortstop is going to make a play there. He's going to go back deep, and that is going to get us out of the inning as the Reds will end up coming back, and they'll win this one here, and they'll get the victory there as Barnhart is your winner. There's your player of the game there. Tucker Barnhart, two for two, two runs, two home runs, two RBIs, and the Cincinnati Reds win this one three to two as you take a look there. and Yeah, I know. Blown save there. His first blown save of this new season now for uh, Ryu and a tough, uh, tough, tough job there tonight. Here, only you know, only getting you know, to being told, hey, you got to come out here, and we only have one you know, run, and you're gonna go against the heart of the batting order. It's like, okay, um, okay, coach, <laughs> uh, I'm gonna try and see what I can do here. And there you see, yeah, he blow that save there, so tough job there for him, and he's gonna try to see if he can forget about it here. Uh, probably after a night of uh, going on the town here, <laughs> definitely don't want to you know relive that. Probably he probably seen it over Sports Center or something like that. But we'll go ahead and move on here as we go back home here, and this is the first game now against the Phillies as we're gonna be taking on the Phillies here. And of course, it's been a while since we see Ryu have a save here, and he has a good opportunity here to do so in this one. As they're up by three. It's a six to three ball game there in. Uh, SoCal there in San Diego and we'll see what we can do against Cody Ashy as uh, you see there's some of the notables there for this game so far and this one is we'll see what he can do and uh, see the league leaders there in this one so far here for the season and of course Ryu will like to be a league leader here at some point here but you know as a closer you know you don't get too many opportunities especially if your team is not playing too well right now you won't have that many opportunities to get in save opportunities. So we'll see here as uh, we'll see a 1-1 one -one count. This is going to be a pop-up to left field. This should be an easy play there for the left fielder. And he does make the play. And that will be it for the uh, first batter here in the ninth inning. So Atami just wants to keep this ball in the park here. As he Cameron Rupp can come up to bat here over one. And we'll see what exactly what he can do now. Oh, he takes that one looking there. 
And that is going to be a strikeout there as the Tommy gets now two now. Two in a row here. He's looking for number three. And he can get a save here if he can get this last uh, strikeout here. So either a strikeout, a ground out, a pop out, something to get out of this ball game here. As we see Cesar Hernandez up to bat. And he is going to get the first pitch here. Two outs. This one's going to go over to his third. Third baseman is going to make a play to first. And that is going to be your ball game as the Phillies lose this one here tonight. They lose this one 6-3 to three as Atami picks up his first, uh, his 10th uh, save. Not his first save, his 10th save of the season. Nice job there for him as he gets one inning of work, one strikeout. And his uh, ERA now is at 1.41 1, uh, there for the season. So 10th save now in the bag there for Tommy. And he is very happy that he is back on the route, uh, on track here now of getting those saves here. As he blew that last one there against the Reds. And since then have been on the field. But we'll take a look here. See some of the numbers there from the other players uh, for San Diego and for Philly. And a great game there, it looks like, from uh, from the very start there for San Diego. As they scored two runs there in the first inning. And then uh, scored another four in back-to-back. Or, yeah, scored another uh, two runs apiece there. Back-to-back -back innings in the third and the fourth. So, good job there for those guys as they get the victory. As we're still, you know, still struggling here. 46-73 and 73 now for the season. And really just playing for some pride as uh, the uh, month of August is coming to a quick end here. As we'll go to one more game here before we wrap up this episode here today. And we'll see it's another game against the Phillies. It's game two of this same series. And we'll see what uh, he can do here now. He's going to be going against Nick Wilson uh, Williams now. And we'll see what he can do. As uh, You see Will Meyer, two for a run. And uh, two RBIs there, of course, a home run. So we'll see here what uh, Nick Williams will do now as he has an 0-2 count here. And nobody on board, nobody out. And that's going to be a huge swing and miss there. And out number one there for the closer, uh, Ryu Atami. So Atami looking pretty good, looking good sharp right now. We'll see what he can do here now against the next batter who has a home run, an RBI, and a run already in this one. And we'll see here with a full count. No way on board and one out. This is going to be a dribbler there. And a Ryu is going to have to play this one here. He's trying to get this one to first. And, oh, he is safe as Ryu just tried his best there to turn that one around but could not. I don't understand why the catcher couldn't get to that one. But we'll see here. One, two, count. And that is going to be a swing and a miss there for the batter. And that's two away now for the Philly. So the Phillies have one more shot here potentially to bring that one runner around here and to get a rally going here. Uh, it's been it could it's been done before, but we'll see 0-3 count here now for him, and we'll see here exactly what we can do as 0-1 pitch comes and this is going to be hit and this is going to be out to short and that is going to be it for the ball game. As the Padres get the victory there, and that is now save number 11 now. So two saves in a row here in this episode. And he is now turning things around here for himself. So, <clears throat> excuse me, Tommy gets a vi uh, gets the uh, save, and he will get uh, one in your work, one hit, or give up one hit, two strikeouts in this game, and his ERA now at 1.37. So his 11th save of the season. And he is now looking forward to number 12. As you see there, one run victory now for the Padres at home here in San Diego. So nice victory there for those guys. As we take a look at some of the numbers here before we take off and wrap up this episode here of a Tommy. And so far here, he has been looking good. So he's trying to really turn things around here. You know, the first uh, game there against the Pirates... We, uh, you know, didn't get a save necessarily. We just came in to do some work. Uh, and then we ended up blowing a save and giving up uh, some runs there. We gave up a run. yeah, one run there against the Reds. And now this one, we go back-to-back -back saves. Talk about a just a huge shift there 
of things <laughs> to uh, to come in this episode. So take a look here as we got a few more, got one more game against Philly, and then we got a big series coming up against Washington. Uh, I'm not sure exactly what you guys are going to be seeing next episode. I think I, we do have a game against Washington, I think, in one. And I think we got, I, I know for sure, St. Louis, and I think maybe Miami. So we got a, about four or five games coming up here, real showcase coming up, and then uh, that'll get us close to the end of the month of August. And then we'll uh, just keep motor going on here. As we, we really don't have a postseason for ourselves. So right now, Tommy's just aud auditioning to be the full-time closer coming up for next season so that is it for me you guys if you guys enjoyed the episode today please leave a like also don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more ryu atami closer road to the show here on esgn net you guys can follow us on social media on facebook twitter and discord check out the links down below and be a part of the esgn nation uh and uh thank you guys so much for the ones that have been supporting the series and really Pretty much supporting all the series here on the channel. Thank you guys so much. We got new subscribers. Thank you guys for subscribing, and I can't wait to show you guys, like, give you guys, give you guys even more content as uh, MLB 18. The show is just right, right on, the, right around the corner. Yeah, try to say that ten times fast. Jeez. But uh, that'll be it for this episode here today. Thank you guys again for watching. If you guys enjoyed the video, please again leave a like, hit that thumbs up button uh, if you enjoyed the video. Also, don't forget to subscribe if you have not yet subscribed. Check us out. Other great series here on the channel. And as always, keep yourselves healthy. And I will see you guys next time.